All right, you guys, what is happening? It is Bill back at the wall of tools. And I promised you guys several times that I would talk you through the electric string trimmer that I have. And uh, I fully intend on doing that today. It is a little afternoon, a little bit of a late start today, nothing crazy, nothing that requires an excuse. Um, but yeah, we are talking about an electric string trimmer today. Um, and first things first, let me take you through the product that I have, what, uh, what I like about it, um, and then I'll give you a final assessment here. Um, so like I said, this is a string trimmer. It is made by Ego. Here, let me show you here. I think this is the side that's meant to display. A um, couple things that I love about this. It has a carbon fiber shaft. This black part right here. A little bit of window dressing, but it is genuinely very light. Um, and that part I think is super handy. Um, it's got a 16 inch cutting swath here. Um, so you're definitely getting a pretty good, uh, you're getting a pretty good chunk, uh, chunk of, of weeds or whatever you happen to be cutting there with that. Um, this particular one has this power load technology as I, what I think they call it. Basically what this means is when you put the string on here, obviously this pulls off just like any other string trimmer. When you put the line on here, um, you can push this green button here and it will to load itself, it will turn itself um, so that the line loads. I don't think of that as a huge benefit just because I don't load line that often. Um, but the one time I've had to do it, it's saved me about two minutes. Um, so that is cool, but um, honestly just not that useful. Uh, kind of up here on sort of the business end, we've got a couple things going on here. We've got a nice handle. It's got a, a padded finish here and it feels really nice in your hand. You can see it's got these, um, this, this green latch that allows you to adjust it kind of on the fly. Uh, and then that quick clamp feature, uh, which is really cool. Uh, on the power head portion of it, um, you've got a, a speed button that lets you control uh, sort of how much torque and how much power ultimately the engine is drawing. Um, and so if you're going through something really thick, maybe you want to crank that all the way up to two. Uh, if you want a longer runtime, you'll leave it down low. I will say I have never had a problem leaving it on one and I've gone through some pretty tough stuff. i um, definitely played around with upping the, the speed um, just for fun and it is a beast, but um, really one does a lot and obviously it saves on runtime. Um, yeah, and then back here, in this end, just the final piece here, this is where the battery actually clicks in. So, Ego products, I think of them more as, I think of Ego as, as really a leader in the battery space and battery technology. This is a five amp hour battery. It's just a monster, it's heavy, it is big, it looks like a five amp hour battery. You can see how it clicks on, it's really smooth. 56 volt, um, so sort of, by nature of their battery, you're already into the equivalent of like the 60 volt max DeWalt, or was it the M18 for Milwaukee tool? So they don't really have that lower sort of um, 20 volt max equivalent here. The Ego's already in the, in the higher segment. Um, okay, so batteries on here, you can see everything's looking nice. Here's the speed uh, button that I mentioned before, so you can leave it on one or two. And again, um, uh, I haven't really found a need to move it up to two just because this thing's pretty powerful. Um, okay, so let's let's talk about this thing. This thing is a beast. It is freaking amazing and it is way better than I thought it would be. So originally I have a Husqvarna str string trimmer that is really nice. It is super cool. It's very powerful. Um, it's actually a four cycle and I'll do a video on it and it is great. The only thing it wasn't doing for me is when I was mowing, I wanted something that I could pick up, push a button and have it turn on and not have to fire the engine up. And I've done a couple of videos where I talk about that sort of mentality or the way I use electric and gas tools. So I'm not gonna re-articulate that to you, but this is really why I bought it. I was like, hey, I don't need it to be the beast that my existing trimmer is. I need it to be convenient and easy to use. So for me, the hooks on this were the carbon fiber shaft, which would keep it light, um, but still full size. Um, the electricity, so, right, no fire up, no gas, nothing. As long as this guy's charged, you're good to go. Um, the electricity and kind of general ease of use. 
So when for that, it absolutely crushes. It of course requires no setup and it is reasonably light. Um, it's not actually insanely light, like compared to a gas string trimmer, I'd say it's maybe, I don't know, I don't have a scale, but maybe 20% lighter. So not that much lighter. Um, but where it has really excelled and totally smashed my expectations is just in the general power and runtime space. So I really thought of this as something small, again, put it with my mower, I'll trim as I mow. Um, it's maybe not do the best job, maybe not the most powerful, but I have something big if I need to do that. Uh, what I found is this thing is totally viable on its own and I would be happy if this was my only string trimmer. Truly, truly. Um, I can show you what I did to my Husqvarna to still make it useful. It's now a little bit different. Um, and I use those uh, rotary scissors, which I'll show you later. Um, so so it's, still, it's still there, it's still part of the arsenal, but this thing is just a beast. First of all, it runs forever. I think they say 40 minutes, maybe 60 minutes of runtime. Um, but it just goes and goes and goes. And if you have two batteries, you definitely don't have a problem. This thing is a monster. It's five amp hours, like I said, so way bigger than the two amp hour battery on, on like a drill. Um, the charger, which I don't have and I don't think is that interesting. Oh, sorry. Here's the battery indicator here too, right? You can see, really nice look and feel. It's got a rubber grip on the battery or rubber finish on the battery. It looks really nice. Um, the charger sounds like an aircraft carrier. It's like cooling the battery as it's charging and that sucker charges fast. Um, so I've just been really happy with the battery system through Ego. Um, I never would have tried it. Uh, but then once I started with one product, I was like, man, Ego, Ego has it going on. They are, they're actually pretty legit. Um, yeah, so the battery is a beast. Like I said, it's, if you pump this up to two, obviously you will lose some runtime, which is absolutely fine because the runtime is still really good. Um, but it is a, I mean, you're, you're getting into like real territory. You can go through high brush, um, high weeds, definitely thick stuff, no problem. I have, I have zero concerns. This is not the baby chainsaw I show you in previous videos. This is, this is the real deal. Um, I like that there's very little maintenance. You never have to deal with oil, like my Husqvarna, two cycle gas, nothing. It just goes. So for me, uh, I'm really glad I tried this because this is the perfect product for electric. Unless you are doing an absolute insane amount of string trimming, this thing will do it. And I am not a commercial landscaper, but I have to imagine that this could be viable if you had a few batteries. Uh, obviously, if you're trying to run and charge and run and charge, then clearly not. But um, this thing is super cool. It's, it's, a, it's a beast. Um, I do think I bought the flagship one. I don't think that matters. I, haven't heard anybody come say anything is appreciably different about um, maybe a lower model, but I'm just so impressed with this thing. Um, it, it really cranks and it will, it will take care of business for you. So um, on this one, I, it feels weird saying it, but this is one product I feel comfortable saying you actually can get rid of your gas string trimmer and just live by this guy. Um, it's got all the features you would expect if you want to use an aftermarket brush cutter, I believe you can on this. I don't, um, just because I think the string trimmer does a little bit of everything and I need some generalists here. Um, it's a really standard finish here. I'm sure you would lose the line IQ, but again, that's not that big of a deal. Um, and this battery just goes and goes and goes. And I really hate having multiple battery types that I maintain. It is my least favorite thing. Let me go get the DeWalt battery. Let me go get the Ego battery. Where's the charger for the Ego battery? Oh, I have a Ryobi battery. Um, so for just that reason, I'm somewhat brand loyal, as you can tell, um, and I don't regret getting the Ego. Like, to me, that just says a lot about it. it looks great on the wall, really easy to handle, um, easy for someone who doesn't know gas, doesn't know, um, obviously you still have to use all the, the same safety equipment, but again, because it's electric, it is much quieter um, than any, any gas. And mine's a four cycle gas, so it's, it's quite a bit quieter even than like a two cycle. This thing is awesome, give it a shot. Um, if your gas one's broken down and you are in the market for a new one, try an electric. If you have nothing, try an electric, it is awesome. Um, I have not tried the DeWalt or the Milwaukee Tool, um, a friend of mine had, I think it's M12 or maybe it's M18. He has the M18 Milwaukee tool version of this and he said it slays. So 
Um, it could just be that that electric is a, is a great option for this tool type, but I have had nothing but aces come up with this Ego product. I really like it. Since then, I actually have the um, 24 inch two stage snowblower from Ego, and I will explain why that makes sense for me in another video, but this thing is, is, is butter and I freaking love it. Um, all right, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for listening. See you tomorrow.